watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! Hi, this is Princess Bola Adilani, the Total Success Coach, welcoming you to Inspired Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success, and that is success at work and in life. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, I know for many of you, it's back to school, and so I want to wish you a, a successful academic year. And I know also for many, many um, working mothers, myself included, um, back to school means back to some serious, focused um, work, undistracted work. So, you know, if you happen to fall into that category and it's the beginning of your fiscal year, I also want to wish you success in your new fiscal year. Uh, how was your summer? I'm sure you had a great summer. I hope you had a great summer. I hope you had time to refresh, to relax, and to rejuvenate during the summer. And um, like I said, probably you're ready for now for some serious work and serious studying. Uh, you would recall that um, the last two broadcasts, July and August, we're talking about embracing change. And on, on the broadcast, I'd said that the wind of change had been blowing the planet Earth for some time. I talked about our need to embrace change and um, the, the nine powers of change, you know. I summed it up by saying that without change, there is no renewal. And when there is no growth, there is no, without change, there is no renewal and no growth. And when growth ceases, death begins. I also talked in the broadcast about, you know, the, 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 the resistance, the natural resistance that we have to change due to fear, due to um, success. Yes, I talked about success. Success can be a trap because, you know, there you are thinking, you know what, I have a workable system. I've developed something that's successful. And so, you know, I'm not open to change, you know. So, you know, I, I said we could resist change due to success. We also could resist change due to ignorance, just not being aware about how beneficial it is. And um, at the end of that um, broadcast, I posed a challenge to us. I called it the 21-Day Embracing Change Challenge. For a full recollection of the broadcast and, you know, the message and the discussions, you can go on to WWHCTV, that's West Hartford Community Television, and click on the video on demand and actually click on the broadcast to, to watch it again. Or you can go, go to my website at royalproclamations.com. It's also available there for a full recollection of that broadcast. But at the end of the broadcast, I ended up... Um, you know, posing a challenge, a 21-day summer challenge to embrace change. And um, the idea behind the challenge was for, you know, viewers to take steps towards making change in one, at least one area of life. And the goal and the objective of the challenge was to help us to conquer our fears, to confront and conquer our fear of change, to improve our self-esteem, you know, as a result of doing something new, trying something new, and succeeding at it, to improve our self-esteem, and to actually grow. And I also um, pr promised an opportunity to participants to come on the show to um, share their experiences. 
So today we're getting to the root of our fears. You are going to actually be confronting and conquering our fear of change. I participated in the challenge myself. And for me, it was with my hairstyle, you know. I was, uh, I said, you know, I'd been wearing my hair short since I was a teenager, you know, except for a very brief time, you know, a couple of years ago where I went, wore it a little long. And so for me, the, the challenge was to wear my hair differently, longer, um, by adding maybe extensions to it, and then just journal my experience. So, you know, I'm going to be talking about that, uh, that later on in the broadcast. I'm hoping that through this broadcast and through us sharing, um, you know, our testimonials and our experience, that you would also find the strength and the courage to take steps towards um, positive change in your life. So one of the, um, the viewers who participated in the challenges here on the broadcast with me today, her name is Tony Hall. And Tony is a database designer with one of the mega um, insurance companies here in town. So I want to welcome you, Tony, to Inspire Success. Thank you very much for having me, Bob. You're welcome. <laughs> and so we're going to dive straight into it. Um, and the first question I want to ask you is, why did you decide to participate in the challenge? <laughs> Well, it, it gave me an opportunity to really focus on a change that I had been thinking about making in my life. And I said, okay, this, this would be a good way to really hold myself accountable um, and to see, to see where it led to. Good, good. And in what area of, of, of life did you um, embrace change? Well, I set a goal to um, improve my relationship or my view, my mindset around money, around finances. Mm -hmm. um, I've been able to achieve a certain amount of success in my life. I've been, been very blessed in that way. Um, but like a lot of people, my, my family has suffered some because of the changes in the economy. Um, and I wanted to look at ways of addressing that so that we're not so dependent yes, yes. On, on outside influences when it comes to how we receive our money and how it flows into our lives. So uh, absolutely, that's absolutely. And that's one of the changes a lot of us have, have has to make in America today. Um, if you re remember, I was talking, uh, when I was talking about new day, new tools and new strategies and talking about the the power and purpose in adversity. You know, I was saying one of the, uh, the, the power of adversity and what we're going through right now is the fact that everybody has to kind of go lean and we have to begin to change our values and we need to trim the fat when it comes to how we manage our money and how we spend and how we view money. So that's exactly. a really, um, that's a really um, huge one and a very important one that we, or every one of us, every single one of us has to take steps towards making positive change in that area of, 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 uh, of life. So we're going we're gonna to be um, talking more. And I know, I, I know you're going to really glean some real wisdom from our conversation today. For me, like I said, I, I, decided, to, I decided to participate in the challenge because you know what? I want to lead by example. You know, I want to practice what I preach. <laughs> what is it about me telling you to, to embrace change and to take this challenge without... Um, I participating in it. So, you know, so that was why for me, I decided to participate in the challenge. And um, uh, I, I, the, the area of life that I chose, it might seem a bit, um, you know, minor, a bit irrelevant for some of us, but it was for my, my hairstyle, like I said, and wearing my hair differently. Mm -hmm. And um, I decided on that area because that was, that really is the only area for me personally where I don't, um, I, I, where I'm not adventurous. You know, I'm a very um, adventurous um, person and, and an innovator, of a chronic, a chronic pioneer. I'm always trying new things and starting new initiatives and new projects. So for me, it wouldn't have been in any other area of life, um, but for my, my hair, that's the only area, like I said, where I've just been so kind of conservative and I've been stuck <laughs> for so many years. <laughs> So, um, you know, w one of the first things that I'd like to ask mm -hmm. and, and that I would also be sharing on is, you know, what, what, what new things did you learn? What are the things that you, as a result of um, making these changes, what kind of, let, let's start first with what kind of changes did you make? 
What kind of changes did you make in relation to your finances? Um, so first was um, looking for information. Okay. So I, I educating I, yourself. Yes. Yeah, taking so, steps towards educating yourself and being better informed. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. About 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 money, about that area of your life. That's very crucial as far as in terms of taking steps towards change. You want to know and make an informed decision. You know. Uh huh. Yes. And then, so. Um, one of the main things I did was coming up with um, a different a different kind of budget, a budgeting plan okay. that allows space for um, things like playtime, saving okay. for saving for education, mm -hmm. um, saving for investments, okay. and as well as paying down debt. Okay, mm -hmm. so you know, just coming up with a more um, relevant, practical, and meaningful um, budget strategy. Yes, yes. A budget and strategy mm -hmm. yeah, exactly to um, to pay off your debt and um, have increase your savings, exactly. which is what we're being told now, which is what many of us weren't doing before. <laughs> you know, no savings and just spending or even spending more than we earned, you know. So good. So you came up with this budget and, and um, hopefully you've been, you know, sticking, mm -hmm. sticking with it, sticking yes. to it. And so what, what new things would you say you, you learned as a, as a result? Um, oh, well, part of what happened change. in the process was that um, information and resources started coming to me like almost because I had that focus. That's what it felt like. Yeah. For example, the, the, um, the workshop that you're going to be doing next month, and yes. we're talking about the spiritual aspects, the sp spiritual principles behind um, financial success. I'm like, okay, that's right up my alley. Yes. But, but more things like that that happened along the way and during the, during the 21 days. Um, like, for example, um, even at my church. Yeah. So my pastor is talking about um, encouraging everyone that, you know, that God has given you gifts. You need to identify them. He, he had us do an exercise. We had to write down five gifts. Yeah. And, and then think about how you can maximize those, how you can start to use, use them. them. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Oh, wow. That is really fantastic. So really from this challenge, you are able to discover that, um, you know, discover what your passion or what hidden um, dormant talents you had mm -hmm. and how you could use them more profitably, how you could turn them exactly. into business to increase your revenue. You also learned, you know, you uh, uh, broadened your knowledge base to include spirituality, which by the way, is something I'm gonna be talking about, but I'm starting a series um, next month called uh, Money Power, and it's the spiritual dimension of financial success. And like I say, there's mm -hmm. more to making money that meets the eye. So you, you just cannot afford to miss that, those, those broadcasts beginning um, um, in October. But, you know, so you were able to learn, you know, some yes. new things, some new principles and, right. you know, um, apply them into your life. That's fantastic. And what new things did you learn about yourself in the process, about you? Um, one was to appreciate the gifts that I have yes. and to understand that they were given to me so that I can share them and yeah. help other people. Yes. It's not just for, it's not just for me, yes, and that, it, that I have a certain responsibility yes. to use and develop them and to, to put them out there. Ab so that absolutely. People can... oh, you're touching now on my dream delivery program. <laughs> you know, I'm the self-styled um, dream midwife, and, and part of my mission is to help individuals and even corporations to birth their dreams you know, and realize their potential. And so it's amazing that as you begin to take steps towards making change in one area of your life, you suddenly discover that you have these gifts, you have this strength, this, this passion that you hitherto weren't aware of, which is one of the things that I, I was saying about the powers of, of change. Because, exactly. you know, you suddenly discover that you have this in you. Mm -hmm. And um, it helps to improve your self-esteem. Because now, okay, you're taking those steps and you're doing these new things and you find that, wow, you know, I'm not so bad at this and I'm not so bad as this and I'm not as bad as I thought. And, you know, your confidence and your esteem is improved as a result. Exactly. And, and, and that's one of what I learned also in terms of, you know, even changing my hairstyle. It was something as little as that, you know. So it doesn't have to be a major change. You can start with baby steps towards little areas of your life. For mm -hmm. me, like my hairstyle, I learned that beauty is within, 
you know, and that I learned that um, it's actually more of a function of, of, of the mind. Beauty is actually a function of the mind, of your thoughts, of your beliefs. It's actually, a, um, you know, about how you feel, how, how you think you look, you know, as opposed to anything that's really um, physical, you know. And so, and so for me, that was, that was huge. That was huge mm -hmm. to discover that that is not really related to how I'm packaged. It's really related to my thought processes, okay? Right. Because, you know, I mean, wearing my hair differently, to me, it didn't really alter dramatically how I, how I look. I don't think so. But, you know, I still felt the same way about how I felt on the inside. So that, that was something for me I learned. And how, how did the experience make you feel? You know, what kind of... Um, you know, emotions, you know, negative emotions initially did you, did you feel? Um, probably the most prominent one would be insecurity okay. because I'm, I'm trying all these different things and thinking about different things. And I'm like, okay, am I going to be able to do this? Is this going to work? You know, that, that kind and of that's, thing. That, putting that together, that's our four letter word we're talking about. Fear. You felt fear. You felt insecure. You felt afraid. Is it going to work? Fear of failure. You know, is this mm -hmm. going to work? Um, am I going to be able to succeed at this? You know, right. am I going to be able to stick to it and, and go through with it and all of that? So really what you're saying is that you felt fear, which is what we're talking about, which is really behind our resistance to change. For most people, that's what is in their subconscious. It's mm -hmm. right there. There's a certain amount of fear and anxiety about making change because you know you know being doing the same old same old is comfortable you know <laughs> <laughs> someone referred to it as a comfort trap it's comfortable so when you're stepping out and trying something new yeah you feel that fear i felt a little bit nervous initially and i uh, and you know i i felt you know uh, is it going to look good on me am i going to look good is it going to be uh, attractive is it going to be flattering and so i went through those emotions as well mm -hmm. and which is why many of us don't you know take the steps um, towards embracing change fear is that fear factor that f letter word yeah. <laughs> called fear but we're go we're going to now learn how 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 we were able to overcome the fear. How, how were you able to overcome the fear and, um, and actually get to do it? Well, in, in part of the, um, the research that I was doing and, and things that I was listening to, um, I learned an acronym for fear. Okay. And it is false evidence appearing real. Good, good. And so just, you false know, just evidence appearing, appearing real. real. Exactly. So that when I, when I would think about it that way, it, it made me, it made it easier for me to shrink the fear exactly. and grow my confidence, or at least my willingness to, to take the next step. Okay, absolutely, e exactly. That, and that is just one of the keys there. That's it right there. One of the ways you conquer your fear is having, putting fear in perspective. Right. Putting fear in perspective. Okay, it's not such a big giant, and even the big giant um, Goliath, you remember what, what conquered him? We just <laughs> took a little stone, a slingshot, and a, a little five smooth stones to, to conquer it. So it doesn't really take much to conquer it, but you've touched on the fact that we need to put the fear in perspective. And, you know, this is what I always say, what failure is. Even if you fail, I say to myself, you know, I've just earned an MBA. And what is MBA standing for? A much better alternative, okay? <laughs> so I didn't fail. All I just learned was, you know, mm -hmm. a much better way of not doing certain things, right. okay? So, you know, when you put it in p perspective like that, then it could help you to overcome the fear and take um, steps, you know, towards um, making change and pro pro progress. And for me, a way that I, I, I was able to overcome my initial fear and anxiety of how will it look, you know, am I going to like it and all of that, was in affirming myself. Affirmations really, really work for me. And that's a very, oh, another powerful yeah. principle right there. I use of, them too. Of, exactly, mm -hmm. of, of overcoming fear. And, you know, it's just by keep telling yourself and keep reminding of yourself what 
you know, beauty is. You know, I kept telling myself, you know what, I'm beautiful. It's not about a function of how I, my hair style. It's what's really within, you know, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, it's something that exudes from the inside out. I just kept reminding myself and affirming myself and, you know, just going through all these principles of affirmation. And I was able to overcome the fear, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, then you exude confidence. And at the t when you exude confidence, uh, you know, people who would ordinarily have said, oh, my God, it looks lousy. What is this? End up telling me, oh, you know, it looks nice. It looks nice. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm going to keep this hairstyle, though. But, you know, thank you for the compliments. But, um, you know, how, how long did it take? How long did it take to actually overcome these, the fear and the, the emotions? Would you say, you know? Well, I, I don't know that there was a beginning and an ending to them. I yeah. think it's, for me, it's a process and exactly. it's ongoing because there's always another step to take and there's, there's new, it seems like there's new fears <laughs> or new, you know, resistance exactly. at that next level. So yes. it's a matter of repeating, repeating Th that, the That's process. the same with me too, you know? So you never really fully overcome or conquer the fear, you know? Uh, someone once defined courage as, feeling fear, but doing it all the same, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, you know, you can't really say you overcome. It's a process. Right. And um, we, we just keep, you know, overcoming and taking the steps. And with each step we take and with each new level, they say new devils, new levels, new devils, you know? And that's why you need the constant, you know, you need constant uh, motivation, constant motivation and inspiration and that's why you must tune in regularly to inspired success for your regular dose of inspiration power but really you need that constant dose of inspiration and motivation and affirmation and and mm -hmm. the good support system and all of that to help you to keep on keeping on because you know it's nothing it's a fear is something that would we'll always feel but we can um overcome as we as we journey in life okay now and then um one of my final questions the final questions is i said how difficult logistically speaking you know was it for you to take the challenge and make the change how how difficult logistically because um you know for 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 many individuals their 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 their, their problem you know their challenge with a with embracing change is that you know i don't even know where to begin i don't know you know what resources are available. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what steps to take and in mm -hmm. what direction to make this change. I know I need to improve, for example, or make change as far as my relationship is concerned, for example. Or I know I know to make, need a career change. Or I know I need, you know, um, a geographical change. Or mm -hmm. I need to move into a, a new house or whatever. I know I need to downside. I know I need to do this thing, but I don't even know how or where or how to begin, you know? So for right. you, what did you discover? How difficult logistically, you know, was it for you to really take those steps and, you know, do, begin the budgeting and get the, edu the education and the information that you needed? Um, how, how, how well, difficult? like I said, I, I, I felt like um, things just started coming to me, opportunities and options once, once I made the decision and, um, it's like, um, it reminds me of, it was, I think it was Abraham in the Bible. Yeah. When God first told him to leave his countrymen, and leave, leave his family, and leave all his people, yeah. and go to a place that I will show you. Yeah. Abraham didn't wait for the whole, he didn't even have his destination when he started. Yes. So each of us, we can start wherever we are right now, and it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to take a lot of, of money or that kind of resource. At the Absolutely. library, there's, a, there's a, a, a supply of free books. There are free computers that you can use. Um, there are ways to get started and, and just to keep it going. It's all around us. It is. All around us. The resources are all around us. You know, for me, logistically, it was easier than I thought. You know, I, it would normally, I think it would normally cost, you know, an arm and a leg to, you know, put extensions into your hair and all of that. But I just, what I did was just ask from one of the young ladies within my network, you know, where do you go? And she said, oh, I know someone, you know, <laughs> who's licensed overseas, but she's yet to obtain her license over here mm -hmm. in the U.S., but she's a professional woman. She does it from home. That caught the cost right there for me, you know, so... 
you know, it's all out there. All we need to do is Google, for example, and information will, will, will come up. Yes. You'll be amazed at the kind of resources that are out there to help to direct you to make positive change. If it's in terms of relationship, you know, there are all kinds of dating sites. Um, there, you know, you ask questions from people. If it's, if, it's, if it's business relationships, you're looking to develop and, you know, have a new network. There are chambers of commerce. There are all kinds of resources, the mm -hmm. library, and they're free. They don't have to be expensive. So when you actually step out, you'll be amazed that, logistically speaking, it's not as hard or as difficult for you to really take those steps towards change. Right. And if you don't, don't make it too big. If you just take one small step. Exactly. It makes one it much easier. One small step and then a whole new world right. opens up to you. It would be amazing. It's amazing also how many people want to help you, how many people want exactly. to support you, and how many people want to see you succeed. So, you know, it's out there. So, um, you know, for me it was easier than I thought and less expensive than, than I actually thought. So, you know, you go girl, you go guy and, and, and do it and make it happen. And then how, how in, in closing would you say the change has kind of impacted your life and just taking this challenge? What have, um, has it, um, how has it impacted your life and what would you say was the overall benefit or the impact? What were you able to achieve? Well, one is having having a clearer budget and a plan and a strategy, okay. having goals for what I want to do with more money, exactly, um, and and that kind of thing. Things I want to be able to do for my family, um, for my community, things like that. And so I'm putting the word together: growth. You yes. know, at the end of the day, you've been able to grow, growing your knowledge and your wisdom in terms of financial management, and hopefully, grow in your finances. Right. And, you know, by reducing your debt, by using your, uh, beginning to work towards using your skills, turning them into profits, you know, your passion and all of that, and grow. So uh, that, that, that's it right there. That is it. For me, I would say, you know what, my self-esteem improved. I, I, I now know that <laughs> exactly. I don't do that at all, even with long <laughs> hair, okay? I know that now. <laughs> So, you, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's what we, we accomplish. Right. We, we learn to grow. And like I, I said, and I'm saying, giving you that quote again of mine, and you're welcome to use it, is that without change, there is no growth and no renewal. No renewal and no growth. And when growth ceases, death begins. And I know death is not on the agenda. I really believe that you have been inspired and, and empowered by today's broadcast. I mean, thank you so much again for watching. I know you are now have the principles to conquer your fear on your fingertips. It's just by taking those little steps, by getting informed, by getting, you know, some education, by affirming yourself, by changing your perspective about what failure is all about. You know, failing, like I said, it's MBA. You just received another MBA, you know, a good degree, a much better alternative. So put it in perspective. Keep things in perspective. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? I want to say thank you to you, Tony, you. for participating <laughs> in the challenge and finding the courage to come on Inspire Success. Don't forget to go to royalproclamations.com. That's my website to sign up for my monthly e-newsletter. It's just monthly. You'll get an e-newsletter in your inbox where you can keep... Um, you know, up to date, keep in the loop about, you know, what's happening, where I'm speaking, where upcoming broadcast. And also, you know, uh, you, you'll learn more about my other speaking, coaching, and corporate training programs, royalproclamations.com. And um, stay tuned in um, for next month's broadcast. Like I said, we're starting a series called Money Power. It's one of my signature programs and that's the spiritual dimension of financial success is just a very very powerful message for a much needed time i know because you know we're all going crazy now about the economy but i say that there's more to making money than meets the eye so make sure you tune in and you invite you know your friends um to also tune in and um 
I, I just want to thank you. Just thank you so much for watching. You know, I really appreciate your watching this um, broadcast. And I thank you for your feedback. People see me in the library and say, you know what? I watch your show. I find it inspirational. <laughs> I thank you so much for the positive feedback. This is your, your hostess, Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, reminding you to keep learning, keep believing, keep smiling, keep networking, keep on keeping on. You're on the winning side. I'll see you next month. Take care and God bless. Bye.